face face this guy. All I have to do is just make sure that I switch out right away and everything. So it's a wiggly tough. I saw I'll switch out to bouncy and he should be able to win this pretty easy. Oh, don't disable it. Okay. Oh, that was quick. I thought he was gonna disable Sonic Boom right away. Bouncy's attack missed. Pretty sure Sonic Boom has 100 accuracy, but in Gen 1, there is a chance for it to miss if it it rolls a number between 1 and 255. And if it rolls 255 out of 255, it misses. Did I say Polly grew to level 8? That's insane. One battle brought him up, what, six levels? Alright, switch back to Bouncy. Sadly has no electric attacks yet. Luckily I have something that doesn't matter. And I'll just use Sonic Boom. Don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze. Okay. I don't even know if Aurora Beam can freeze, but if it did, that would suck. Alright. Poly level 9. Now both of them are the same level. So I will head back down and heal really quick. And then make my way through more. This isn't so bad. This will be a fun run regardless. Because it's been a long time since I played just straight Gen 1. Um... Pokemon usually I play Gen 3 Fire Red Leaf Green but this will be different I think the rule about this is you get a Master Ball and then pray that you run into a Mewtwo basically Mewtwo or Alakazam both of them are basically unbeatable basically All right, head back into the forest. Now the question is, should I fight the extra trainers just in case for the extra help? Well, I got Sonic Boom, so I might as well, right? Get that little bit of extra XP. come up this way and then we'll fight the trainer up here all right bug catcher has a hitmon lee so the crazy thing is I'm actually very good against the hitmon lee the sad thing is I don't have a flying type attack so right now, I'm basically, oh, I crit. That shouldn't do any damage. Whoa, that's a not very effective attack. I did not expect it to do 16 damage with a not very effective attack. All right, Polly's level 10. Need a Reno. Um... We'll go ahead and switch to Bouncy, and we'll use our trusty Sonic Boom. Come on, don't miss with Sonic Boom. Alright. One more. And then we have one more Pokemon to face off against. Both of mine are level 10. And Articuno. Alright, we're just going to have to stay with Bouncy. 
because Polly will get one shot because I believe Articuno's only move at this time is Ice Beam. Oh, no, it knows Peck. I, it must be Peck Ice Beam. All right. Finished up that battle pretty easily. Bouncy is now level 11. All right, grab this item right here. It's a max revive, which I cannot use. Usually I put in a clause that if you find a max revive, you can use it, but this time around I didn't, so. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this Moltres. Just for the XP, because it's a legendary, it should give decent XP. Gave 149. Yeah, that was that was good enough to take the time and do that. All right, we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna grab this item. It's an ether that could be useful later on. And then we'll grab this secret item. Which is a super repel. That's really useful. Alright. Super repel will be very useful to get through um, Mount Moon. Okay, let's go ahead and just quick attack. His attack is Fury Attacks. Okay. Okay, killed him. I was gonna say if he fury attacks and hits five times, he may he may have killed Polly. But so far so good. Polly's level thirteen. Elect, um, Bouncy is what level twelve, level eleven. All right, and we're out of the Verding Forest. Okay, we're going to heal up here. Okay. This is where things get start to get interesting. After I beat the first gem, I get the first TM, which can do a lot. TMs are randomized, and they can go on random Pokemon. So, we're going to go ahead and grab four potions, if we can afford it. Uh, we can afford three potions. Is there anything that I can sell? I can sell the Max Revive. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to buy four potions. Oh, those are Pokeballs. We'll buy those after. After we beat the gym. But, potions first. Alright, and now let's go ahead and head in. And we're gonna we're gonna battle this trainer also just for the extra XP. Cause I'm sure it'll start to get difficult later on with the XP wise. Okay, Bell Sprout, no problem. Glad he used growth, because that just means that I get a free kill on him. Oh, no, he lived on one. Oh, but he used growth again. To be honest, that might be his only attack at this level, but I'm not sure. About to use Ghastly. So, Polly cannot hit, and neither can Bouncy. I just made a mistake. Neither of my Pokemon can hit ghost types. Mm. There's nothing I can do either.
I made a huge mistake. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna test a Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom hits through Ghost. I honestly didn't know that, but I'm so glad it does. I don't think Sonic Boom hits through ghosts later on in uh, the generations. Alright, my electrode is paralyzed, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal. A lot of times on a Nuzlocke run, I will also make it so once you go into a gym, you cannot leave. But. This is my first one back in a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and just play it more casual-like. We're going to put Electrode in the front. Alright, Bouncy. You're my boy. Need a flying attack with um, a Pidgeot sometime soon. But I don't know when the first flying attack that he learns is. I honestly think it's actually wing attack. And that's at level 32, I think. Brock sends out Graveler. Alright, so this is scary. But we're going to Sonic Boom. We're going to see how much damage he does to us. Oh, he only used Tackle. I expected a Magnitude. Alright, so Graveler's down. Hey, Brock has Graveler, I just realized. That's awesome. And he's about to... Brock has Graveler and Volpix. Those are two Pokemon that he actually has. Well, he has Geodude and Vulpix, but that's pretty cool that those are actually two Pokemon that he has in the TV series. Alright. I beat Brock. Alright, this is where it'll start to get interesting. He's going to give me a TM. That TM is usually bide. Did that say Thunder Wave? Oh, that's good. Um, we're going to hold on to that. We're going to hold on to that and we're going to buy some Pokeballs. So let's go ahead and buy 10 Pokeballs. Yeah, we'll just buy 10 Pokeballs for now and we're going to go to our PC. We'll go ahead and heal in the Pokemon Center. Things should now be high enough level that I can Sonic Boom them and be able to not kill them. Oops, not someone's PC. TK Games PC. Deposit. We'll deposit the ether for later, the TM for later. Okay. Those are the two that I really want to make sure that I keep. A great TM to get would be Thunderbolt, obviously. Thunderbolt would make this outrageously amazing. Um, we're going to go ahead and get through here first so that we could, 
uh, buy the Pokemon at the Pokemon Center up here. And then we'll come back and finish fighting everybody. Dragonair. This is just going to be Thunderwave. I thought... Uh, I thought Paralysis didn't work on Electric-type Pokemon. Or at least Thunder-wise Electric. Or Electric-wise paral Paralysis. That was hard to say for some reason. Alright. I may... Oh might still be faster than primate because now my base speed is 70 because it's half oh wait it's like a quarter in this game instead not have they they uh dropped it down a quarter in this game i think all right after this i'm gonna switch out yeah we'll switch to Polly, because Polly's not paralyzed. And Polly's actually pretty strong on his own, too. Even if it's only got quick attack, it's a stab quick attack, so. And if you didn't know what stab means, that means same type attack bonus. It does 1.5 times your damage. Alright. Do I have a paralyzed heal? I don't. But I don't want to go back, so I'm just going to switch right now. Alright, got to battle this guy. I need to get this battle and one more battle, and then I can go back and heal. It's got to be an Aerodactyl, of course. Probably the worst one that I could get because it's not do that much damage. He's got wing attack already. Alright, paralyzed guy. Sonic Boom. Yeah, go ahead and agility. I'm already slower than you. Fully paralyzed. He's going to keep on agility because wing attack is not very effective. So he kept agility even though it didn't do damage. Polly's level 14. Bouncy's level 15. And a muck. So with muck, I can I can take him on with Polly no problem. Alright. Got a crit, but didn't le left him on one. Oops. Ah. Hit sand attack instead of quick attack. Left him on one HP. I grew to level 15. Now I believe both of our Pokemon are level 15. And we'll face this girl up here. Kangaskhan. So he's got Comet Punch, which is going to do a lot. Hopefully Quick Attack does over half. Nope. Oh, it's got Rage. I didn't expect that. So I'm going to build up his Rage right here. Kill. There we go. Level 
level 16 and a ghastly and we know that we have to switch for that switch to bouncy so that I can sonic boom it confused right now I'm confused and paralyzed which is completely broken in this game oh that's gonna do 10 damage that's gonna hurt okay I have to I have to heal right here Alright, break out of confusion? Nope, still not. And hurt myself. Every single time. Okay, Lick only does a couple damage. Confused no more, but fully paralyzed. And he put another confuse ray on me. Alright, I have to potion again. Glad I bought these potions now. Not so glad I didn't go heal already. Come on, come on, break through. Nope. So if I lose bouncy, I've I've lost at this point. If I lose bouncy. Alright, there's a sonic boom. Please have left than 20 HP. Ah. Come on. Confuse no more. Yes. All right. We beat the last and now we are heading back to heal. We don't want any accidental battles. So I needed to come back anyway because it resets the route so that she is that last that I just beat is standing back at her normal spot, which means that I can walk the upper path. The reason why I didn't battle the lower path guy is because he's got three Pokemon and that'll be better for gaining XP. For my next Pokemon that I'm about to get. We got one more guaranteed battle before we have to or before we can get our next Pokemon. So now I can walk up here. And then this guy is my last guaranteed battle. Eradicate. At level 11, he might have Hyper Fang, which will do quite a bit of damage. He used Tail Whip, though. Setting up for the next Pokemon, I guess. Jolteon. Um, yeah, I'll switch. I'll switch to Bouncy. Because Jolteon, I'm pretty sure, has Thundershock. But he's going to Sand Attack Bouncy, most likely. Nope, just straight Tackle. Alright. And then Quick Attack. He made sure that he got all the damage he could off. All right. Now we'll switch. And then we'll go into this grass. See our first Pokemon. And it's a Zubat. I'm going to Sonic Boom it. It should survive. Yeah. So... Zubat's not very good in this game. There's no Crobat. He can he can turn into Golbat. He's more of an annoying type of Pokemon anyway. He uses Confuse Rays and stuff like that. Um, he's just gonna be batty. Um. Mm. 
Okay, one of my buttons it isn't mapped right. Okay, get around that person. So I've got another Pokemon. And then we'll head up here and get to one more Pokemon after a heal. So this Pokemon cost me 500 gold or 500 Poke dollars, but it can be anything, so. Give me a Diglett. Um, it's a good name for a mole. Hmm. <laughs> He's gonna be a a Doug Trio soon, so I'm gonna call him Triglett. All right, so guys, this is gonna be our team. Let's go ahead and check what they've got. Just leech life right now. Probably just scratch, yep, just scratch right now. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment down below and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you next time, goodbye.